Today on Internet Marketing Pro, we're going to discuss the top seven online marketing trends that will dominate 2014. Broadcasting from the great mountaintops of Western North Carolina, good morning, good evening, wherever you may be across the nation and around the world. I'm your host, Chad Deckard, and welcome to our Internet Marketing Pro and EZGenerator.com podcast show. Our shows will cover how to grow your business as well as topics on tips, tricks, and techniques, entrepreneurism, and preeminent professional internet marketers. Thank you for tuning into our show as we begin this adventure exploring many great things to come. Now, let's cover a quick few announcements before we get started. Did you know that you can take this show with you wherever you go on your mobile device? Well, you can subscribe to this show through YouTube, iTunes, Stitcher Smart Radio, Zune, and other syndicates in the description of this recording. If you like our show and find it resourceful, please do your social network a favor and share, like, post, and leave a comment to our show. Be sure to visit ezgenerator.com and become a free community member to get exclusive access to thousands of quality marketing resources at your fingertips. Now, let's get down to business. So today we're going to discuss a topic um, and it is in regards to the seven online marketing trends that will most definitely dominate 2014. This is um, basically, I, I, this is my opinion as well as several other um, entrepreneurs that uh, I've researched in order to do this show. And uh, you know, I'm going to go into the topic and you know, basically the internet has drastically altered the way in which you know, information is shared and it is, you know, basically cause a profound effect on marketing and you know over the past few years there has been more of a shift toward inbound techniques while you know many outbound tactics have become inadequate you know more businesses are finding success publishing original content rather than embedding you know like advertisements within the external content and that's because the additional benefits of these tactics you know and what they offer such as branding and audience growth you know and with these trends in mind let's discuss you know some of my predictions for the top online marketing trends for 2014 number one is content marketing will be bigger than ever one of the main ways that companies are establishing authority and gaining trust with customers is by you know constantly creating valuable content through a variety of channels and this typically involves relevant industry information that provides insight or entertainment to an audience doing so also allows a company to steadily build rapport and you know it can also you know make a connection with the demographic and develops you know some type of a loyal following and according to the marketing institute the top b2b content marketing strategies are social and articles on business websites also e, e newsletters case studies videos and articles on other websites and by using one or more of these channels businesses are able to build a positive reputation within their industry and this trend suggests that Marketing to the masses through techniques like television ads and radios are becoming less and less effective every day. And instead, you know, it's better to concentrate on inbound marketing by producing valuable, engaging content designed for a specific audience. You know, for help designing your content marketing strategy, I would um, do some research, do some Googling on content marketing strategy. And if you can find uh, these two articles, um, you might want to even Google these. It's 11 places to find awesome content marketing ideas and how to build a kick-ass content strategy. <laughs> Number two, social media marketing will require more diversity. Just a few years ago, you know, businesses were just limited with regard to social media networks that they could implement into their marketing campaigns. And, you know, being the biggies, including Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter, and you know now it seems like social media sites are appearing all the time while some never really get off the ground others like Pinterest Google Plus Tumblr and Instagram have surged in popularity and have provided business with a plethora of new options that allow them to produce engaging, engaging content in a variety of media forms and you know it allows them to also build their audience across more channels than ever before but consequently it has become common for businesses to branch out and experiment with multiple networks with the aim of reaching the maximum amount of consumers. Now, you know, this diversification seems to prove fruitful for many companies because, you know, it often builds brand equity by making it easier for consumers to recognize a particular brand. But, you know, 
it's not always that case for everyone. I mean, we're, it depends at what level you are marketing at. It, it might not be the same um, depending on the size of your business, I would say. You know, if you need help figuring out, you know, which social media networks are right for your business, I would look up um, an article on how to determine which social media network fits your business. Simple as that. Number three, image-centric content will rule. As consumers, you know, are hit with an increasing number of advertisements, it's becoming more important to make content easily and quickly digestible. If you look at the social media sites I mentioned previously that are on the rise, three of the four have a common characteristic, and that is they place an emphasis on images. And the rapid rise to success of BuzzFeed and Pinterest are testaments to the power of viral potential of image-based content. So successful blog posts that receive the most social shares also usually have a common characteristics and they pepper in some well-placed pictures to break content up and emphasize certain points. Another example is infographics which combine images with a minimal amount of text to explain a topic and provide statistical information or data from the research studies. So while I doubt that the traditional text-based content will ever completely go off out of style, it's pretty clear that incorporating images is beneficial to a marketing campaign. So if you want more information about using image-based social media networks in your online marketing initiative, I would recommend the following articles, and that is how to use Pinterest in your online marketing initiative and visual micro-sharing platforms, the next big time in social media marketing, and the power of images in social media marketing. Number four, less will be more. One notable trend is the apparent shift in consumer preference regarding simplistic marketing messages instead of an in-depth messages. When you think about some of the top brands in the world of like Apple or Google, they clearly value simplicity. A large part of Pinterest appeal is it's clean, it's uncluttered, and it's minimalist aesthetically. With many consumers feeling burned out by constant barrage of information and advertisements that scream, look at me, some of the most I'm sorry, innovative marketers are going the opposite direction. And now they're making efforts to tone down their campaign messages and not overwhelm consumers with hype. You know, perhaps an article by Forbes said it best. There is a sense, a sense that from the hyper-connectivity of our highly digitized lives to the bright, flashy, complicated sensory input we've fed every day, there is no way to continue at this pace. As a result, 2013 is likely to be a year where the most successful marketing strategies will be the ones that not only simple in nature, but promote goods and services that serve to simplify the consumer's life or even just their customer experience. So, you know, I would say number five would be mobile friendly content will be necessary. Due to the widespread and quickly growing use of smartphones and tablets, it's necessary for companies to create content that's accessible to mobile users. According to Forbes, 87% of connected devices sales by 2017 will be one number to be reckoned with. Whether it's creating an alternative mobile version of a website or utilizing responsive web design, it's important to provide a positive experience to users that are browsing via a mobile device. Otherwise, it's easy to lose customers to com competitors who have adapted to this trend. As the shift from traditional PCs and laptops to mobile devices continues, businesses that aren't on board are likely to suffer. Number six, ad retargeting will grow in effectiveness. This is a marketing strategy that has really caught on fire recently, and in a nutshell, it works by utilizing browser cookies to extract websites that users visit. Once they leave a certain site, the products or services they viewed will be shown to them again in advertisements across different websites. You know, it's fairly obvious, obvious sorry, as to why this technique can be so effective. It is fairly obvious as to why this technique can be so effective. With only 2% of the web traffic converting on the first visit, ad retargeting works to increase the overall conversion rate by reminding consumers of the product or service they viewed. This keeps the brand and the product at the top of the consumer's mind, and there are even psychological studies that have shown that simple exposure to brand names and logos creates familiarity which builds trust and makes consumers more likely to make a purchase. Even if there's no immediate purchase, this can really pay off in the long term. 
That is due to the su success that many marketers have had with uh, you know retargeting ads, and there's a good chance that it will become more mainstream in 2014. Number seven, SEO and social signals will become even more entwined. Although social signals still don't typically carry the same weight as traditional inbound links, it's pretty undeniable that the, they play a role in organic search rankings these days. After all, they're one of the three pillars of SEO. Since the goal of Google and other search engines is to provide users with the most relevant and highest quality content possible, it makes sense why they would factor in the number of social shares that a blog post or article or product page receives. The more people that are sharing a piece of content, the higher quality it's likely to be, and therefore its position should increase within the search engine results pages. It's no coincidence that the top ranking search results tend to have lots of social shares, while those ranked lower have fewer. Besides this, social shares can serve as a stamp of approval, you know, a trust signal for visitors landing on a page. And if they see that it has hundreds or thousands of shares, it's likely that there's something of value there. And that's a big reason why so many businesses are installing social share plugins and encouraging consumers to share as much as possible. While it's difficult to predict algorithms that will evolve in the future, there's a reasonable chance that social shares will match or even outweigh traditional inbound links by the end of 2014. You know, for more information on how SEO and social media are becoming entwined, see an article that was written. It's called How to Integrate Social Media with Your SEO Campaign. So, in conclusion, there you have it. Those are my predictions for the top seven online marketing trends of 2014. Did I miss anything? Well, maybe podcasting. What do you think about these predictions that I've made? Leave a comment and let me know. I greatly appreciate it, and thank you for tuning in. I hope you tune in next week. And be sure to check out my archives on iTunes, Stitcher Smart Radio, YouTube, and Zoom. Take care now. Bye-bye.